What's up, guys? Welcome back to Biker Mike Motors. We are here today at Co Park, November, I think it's to November 28th today. Got a few good ones here to check out, hopefully. Hopefully, they're good ones. That's why we're here to make sure they're good ones. Don't buy stuff sight unseen like I do sometimes. But I know it's been a little hiatus from the last videos. I've had a few of the craziest months of my life the last few months, and it's just, I'm sorry for not getting, uh, getting the videos out there like I normally would like to. I appreciate, I've seen some new subscribers coming in, so I appreciate every one of you guys, past subscribers and the new ones. I, man, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, you know, that makes me, that motivates me to get out here and keep making videos and getting better at this. But like I said, we got a few good ones today. Might have an RV in there, slipped in a little RV in there too. But I'm going to get out here, find this first one, and we're going to get to it. All right, guys, first up on my list for today. And... Dare I say, I saved the best for first. Because <laughs> this was the number one pick out of the list I have for today. I just happened to run across it here first. This is a 2012 Buick. I think it was LaCrosse. Let me double check. I should know this. Yes, LaCrosse. 2012 Buick LaCrosse. It is a donation to the Wheels for Wishes Foundation. Not sure exactly what they do, but it's a donation car. 114,000 miles on it. Uh, I did see, because I ran the auto check history on this, it was a Maryland car for a few years. So that has, if you're out here looking at stuff, even if you're in an area that's not very salty, always do, if you can't come out and look at it, at least do some kind of auto history report on it. Because if it's from up north, I know myself from being up north and living up north that stuff gets rusty real fast, real bad up there. And we got a tire here from the 35th week of 2019 little little thing there for you guys too little nugget you could take with you looking at tire codes on the tires good sign to see when they last been replaced how old they are because some can look okay and be 10 years old you know at that point if anything's over about five or six years old i usually just go ahead and replace them anyways unless they look really really good uh cooper on the front here which is good tires we're gonna get down there and look a little closer underneath to make sure no rust and i'm guessing from this car yeah matching set of cooper tires all with very good tread from 2019 body looks pretty straight i don't see any signs of paint work or body work that's been done got a few little nicks and scratches to be expected out of a 10 year old car with over 100,000 miles on it for sure but other than that not bad guys not bad we're gonna have to we're gonna look into this one because this is definitely something that we're gonna be looking at bidding on here interior is let's get a sniff test it smells good it smells relatively clean no sunroof that kind of sucks but I'm not buying this for myself buying this to flip this seems like it would be a good tax time car i mean not you know 10 years old but really not too bad let's see if uh see if she'll fire up it's got power before we do that before we do that let me be smart about this for once especially since i'm actually really considering bidding this thing up a little bit if it goes for a decent price which has been hard to find anything for a decent price lately but let's see if i can uh if i can figure out open the hood we'll take a look at it <laughs> which hmm. oh there we go there we go oh, well, i thought that was it there we go there we go all right all right hey, you're not looking too bad not looking too bad at all here there's a battery under there which i don't even think we're gonna have to mess with that because it seemed like it had good power let's check the oil oil is a little dirty about halfway up the mark but not bad about ready for an oil change i'm not sure if there's a transmission dipstick on these i think this is the transmission let's see is this the hmm. well we're just gonna go ahead and leave that for now coolant where is that coolant i'm not sure these 3.6 engines that are in there not sure about how good they are either don't have a lot of experience with these uh if you can see down in there we do have dex cool a little bit low but not bad 
Well, and one last thing before, before we go firing this thing up. Let's see if we're even wasting our time because it's just a rust bucket. Mm. Let's see if I can get you guys under here. This is going to be kind of tough, but I'm going to tell you, there is uh, no rust under there. No rust at all. Well, I guess the time has come. Let's fire it up. See how she does. Roof's in good shape. I've been out in the sun a little bit. You could tell the windshield right here is starting to delaminate. And that's a telltale sign of being in some a lot of sun outside. But other than that, not bad. I mean, not bad. There's no, I haven't seen any clear coat peeling. I haven't seen any, I mean, barely even any dents in this thing. So body looks okay. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this baby up. Radio works. Wow, you guys hear that? You guys hear that? It's gonna be the end of this one, the end of this one. And this is exactly why you wanna come out here and look at this stuff as I just wiped grease all over my face because I didn't realize, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I just got grease all over my hand and I just wiped my face. So that is all across my face right now. But this is exactly why you need to come out here and look at stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. At idle, you don't really hear it, but I heard it on startup. And you can probably hear it if you haven't. Let me turn off the AC and the, all this stuff here so you can hear it better. Yeah, you ready? Give her, give her a listen, give her a listen. That's barely revving it. Barely revving it. She is tapping really good. So, all right, guys. I guess we are going to go on to the next one because I am definitely not trying to do an engine swap on this type of car or any car really right now. But definitely not this one. Uh, it looks like they were keeping up on the oil changes too. Let's see. Next service. Oh, no. They're a little over. About 10,000 miles over. Whether they had something to do with it or not. Like I said, I'm not too sure with these 3.6 engines, um, you know, what kind of major problems they usually run into or not. And it's really a shame because this interior of this car is very clean. But we are not, guys, we are not getting into an engine swap. Like I said, so we are going to go find the next one on the list. And the next one on the list. 1990, bear with me here, bear with me. 1990 Imperial 33 footer. Now, some of you guys seem to enjoy the RV videos. So I've been trying to throw one of these in there, here and there. I might even make a whole uh, you know, video about it if you guys are very interested, but I like to throw some of the more interesting ones in there. And this one, it's just kind of cool to me. Maybe not to you guys, but it's kind of cool to me. I mean, this thing, these things are huge, first of all, and the front end of this thing is just scary looking. It reminds me of something out of like a Halloween movie where the truck is chasing you down the road or something. But just to give you guys a quick, uh, oh, it looks like the engine is in the front of this too. That's kind of weird. We got a nest right there. I don't know if you guys can see if there's anything in there. I hope not. I don't see anything in there. Got the battery sitting a little cockeyed over there. Get the on off for the, the thing right there for the inside. And this one's listed as a, uh, I think this one was a, I'm not sure exactly what it was. It says lost type unknown. It's a dealer services car. So dealer services are usually a little scary. Usually I, from what I've seen, they're trade-ins where a dealer knows it's just going to be way too much work to try to get the thing you know back to being road worthy and that's kind of what i'm guessing is going on with this one look at that camera up there guys oh my gosh a backup camera is that's what i think that is right it's gotta be an old school from 1990 or 
definitely not anything brand new camera, backup camera that looks like it's the size of a football. <laughs> Imperial Holiday Rambler Corporation. We got the we got the ladder here. We could climb up there if we wanted. I don't think I'm gonna climb up here. If you guys want to see me climb up on these things in the future, let me know. But that is uh, I don't know if the camera shows it, but that's pretty far up there. And with my luck holding on to the phone and trying to record and climb that ladder at the same time, well, you guys could probably imagine where that one would be going. I'd end up on the ground and <laughs> crawling out of here possibly. So we're gonna, if you guys wanna see it, I'll risk it, but I'm not gonna do that today. Maybe I will. We'll see how I feel once we get done walking through the interior of this thing. <sighs> Give it a little sniff test. It smells like 1990. It's a good smell. Wow, look at this thing, guys. Look at this. Stuff like this, I just wish it could talk. I mean, I really do. You got all the keys for it here. Looks like probably what happens with a lot of these, it just ended up sitting and sitting and sitting until someone just didn't want to mess with it anymore. You know, it just uh, maybe wouldn't start or for whatever reason, you know, somebody just kind of gave up on it. Look at that TV. That TV looks like 1990. <laughs> that must be for the backup camera, too. It must be. And they got a solar panel here, first-gen solar panel. <laughs> wow. This, uh, I got to do this just because this is in my blood, but let's sit down here for a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can get used to driving this thing. This ain't so bad. Make sure I still have the keys in my pocket. Let's see if she does anything. Nope, it feels like, uh, not sure what that feels like, but definitely not doing anything. And we got, everything is off, obviously. You got your CB radio there. You got your big screen <laughs> right here. And we're just gonna do a quick walk to the back. Oh, look at this. Wow, code of ethics for travel trailer owners. Huh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. That is a big, that's your owner's manual, I'm assuming, right there. And it's so big because you're basically driving a house down the road. So there's a lot of stuff to have manuals on. Looks like a microwave probably went up here. And they got rid of that for whatever reason. You got your, oh, do I dare open this? Yep, we're going to shut that. That smells. Ugh. Some black mold in there. Here's a bathroom, shower, decent sized shower right there. Can already tell you that. Uh, oh, it's adjustable. I was gonna say it's a little low. Hey, there I am. Good day today. Happy to see you guys. Happy to have you here. Checking out some cars with me. RVs, whatever. Hey, like I said, this one we are. Uh, <laughs> we got some uh, piece tape up there holding it together. Probably from 1990. Oh, some nasty ass cobwebs right there. Not a big fan of cobwebs. All right. Well, quick one for this one, guys. We are going to be on to the next one. And last thing for the RV, like I said before, if you guys want to see me climb ladders in the future, all you got to do is comment below and tell me. And I promise you, whether I fall or not, I will record it. And whether I fall or not, I will post it. And we'll do one. Let me see. Am I feeling it? No, I'm not feeling it. Just not feeling it today. But like I said, I'll push it for you guys if you want to see it. And until then, we are going to go find the next one. And the next one up on the list. Going to be a quick one. I noticed it right when I was walking up and I almost skipped it. But any opportunity I can try to help you guys and teach you guys watching. Stuff to avoid and keep yourselves out of uh, troubles where you'll be bidding on stuff and not even able to sell it for what you paid for it out of the auction this did not show in the pictures at least that i've seen but as you can see this thing has some major rust back here and it's the same thing underneath the truck and this is <laughs> it's a two owner donation truck and the mileage is a little higher but it always always listed as being down south so either this thing you know was used up north in a rusty area or I'm not sure. I'm really not too sure. But either way, rust is uh, 
I don't mess with that. I don't mess with that. Even if you went and fixed that, in my opinion, it's always going to be lurking and it's always going to come back. So this one's just going to be a quick walk around. I guess we can see if we can start it up. If it's got a good battery, we'll, we'll start it quick just so you guys can hear it run. And it, I mean, this was 207,000 miles, but this thing looked pretty clean, guys. I mean, looking for a quick flip vehicle. Durango's, I've had a few in the past. They're good sellers. People like these little trucks like this. Well, I shouldn't say little, but you know, little SUVs, smaller SUV. And the interior, I mean, I haven't even looked at it yet because I was going to skip right over it. But we got a fully loaded interior, 207,000 mile interior that to me does not look bad. I mean, this looks, there's no cracks in the dash. The steering wheel is a little bit worn, not bad. A few little cracks here, but you know fully loaded sunroof heated seats <clears throat> everything i mean fully optioned out four-wheel drive which is one of the other main reasons i wanted to look at it and it looks like we do have power so we're not going to make too long of a watch on this one but i did want to let you guys hear it start turn everything off here oh, we got an aftermarket radio deck a little flat screen boss deck Here, sorry, I'm guessing it probably sounds good. It's probably here as a donation because of that rust. I'm guessing. Battery's completely dead. Well, not completely dead, but it almost sounds like a bad starter because it sounds like the battery's got a lot of juice, but well, I guess we're not gonna start this one. Not even gonna waste time on it because something with that kind of rust, I am not gonna bid on it, so Guys, we got one more left of the day. Keep your fingers crossed that it's a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last car on the list for the day. And we're gonna hope it's a good one because none of the other ones came through. We're not gonna be bidding on any of those. So it's the last one and it's a little rough and it's not anything special, <coughs> but it does have one good thing going for it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And we'll get to that in a second. But this is a 09 Kia Spectra listed as vandalism theft so i'm guessing the vandalism there it's got a lot of dents in it someone ripped the door door handles off it all right you got a lot of uh scratches and dents on the side here it looks like someone was yeah i could see the vandalism looks like someone took a little uh bat to this thing and just beat the crap out of it but but still keeping my hopes up because maybe, just maybe, uh, the more I look at it, the maybe is fading away. I'm everything on this car. You're, you're, you're going through, you're replacing taillights. This one's probably busted too, isn't it? Yeah, busted taillights. Scratches all over, paint chips, dents all over, handles all, I was going to say all four, but three of the handles pulled off. I guess whoever it was got too tired to pull his fourth one off dense very significant dents up and down the sides mirror mirrors broke oh yeah they broke that one so you gotta you got replace the two mirrors tail lights looks like someone dumped some paint on the top too like some house paint that may come off oh guys today has been uh getting back into the swing of things here with cars has, has been tough the last couple weeks and Today, I've just not been yielding very much to actually bid on. The tires are from 2015, second week of 2015. They're Michelins, but that's not a, not a, too much of a, not too much of a bonus for this one because they are dry routed and look like the tires need to be replaced too. Uh, well, attention all parents note your calendar i don't even i'm i'm i am it's fifty three thousand miles that's what i was gonna say was the the good thing about going for this car and that is about the only good thing that i've seen so far going for it i have my uh my hesitations on even trying to start this thing but for the sake of the video we will go ahead and start it in <laughs> interior smells uh, okay. 
exterior is not that bad. It looks like they must have been locked out of the car. Then she's seen some sun. It's faded there. That's not that huge of a deal. Look at that. Got an owner's manual. <sighs> wow. Well, I was really hoping we would come out of here with at least two or three good ones to bid on, but it's not looking too promising today. Battery's completely dead. Let's see, we'll open this door one. Over here, that door has not been opened in a while. But that's open now. Hood's popped. We will throw a jumper on this one, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, this car, for me to bid on it and actually want to throw some bids to seriously try to win it, I'm probably looking at like a two to $300 bid. I'm just, by the time you're done with fees, you know, that puts you probably close to five fifty out the door. And then you got to worry about trying to make a profit on this thing. And you got the miles going for you. But that's all you got really going for you. Someone, it looks like someone put... They tried to paint these headlights too. They didn't break them though. So thank you for ever to do that. I can clean these up pretty good. You wet sand those and put some polish on them. Uh, that you know brings back, I've done that with a lot of cars in the past, brings back old headlights that look like they're almost shot, to almost new condition sometimes. Uh, we got some pretty dirty oil, but right where it's supposed to be. Full. Check the transmission. Transmission dirty brown but it doesn't smell bad it just smells like hydraulic fluid battery from 721 so it's not that old it'd probably take a charge oh, loose connection there too well let's go ahead throw the jump pack on it and for the sake of hearing it run and maybe being able to get a good deal on it at least we'll know the engine's good or bad depending on what it does here that up put our trusty noco on here that jump pack has been great i don't know if i talked about that i probably have a million times but jump pack has been awesome give her some juice and i hear her ticking making some noises so let's got oil let's just let's check the coolant quick too well if i'm gonna do it might as well do it right make sure she's looking all right and it looks pretty dry in there. Not too bad. A little bit in there. There's a little coolant in there. And it's probably been sitting for a while, so I'm going to leak down just a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and start it. We'll go ahead and start it. Enough talking. Enough talking because this one is not uh, not getting me too wild a bit on it. Well, let's go ahead and see what she does. You guys ready? Here goes. All right, we're gonna have to readjust those cables here quick, and then we'll go to take two. I wonder if it's that one being loose. All right, well, let's try it again, try it again. Ah, see, this car's messing with me already. I shut that door, and now I can't get back in from that side. <clears throat> let's see if she'll start. Oh yeah, started right up. Can't fall through there. But we do have, let's see, a TPMS light on, which kind of almost expect some kind of light to be on. And it looks like a uh, airbag lights on there too, which I do have a computer that can read airbag lights and stuff like that. But do I want to get into it on this car? This car is one of those cars that you could spend a month or more fixing to try to break even or make a few hundred bucks on. And it's probably gonna be a tough sell at that because like I said, the biggest thing you got going for is the miles and the important window works. So there's that. something else going for it. Trying to give her some positives, okay. Front two windows work. That one, the back window works over there and back window works over there. Okay, okay, let's see if the AC works. Let's just uh, not, I do not have my hopes up for this, but Let's see. Maybe she'll surprise us. Totally good. The engine sounds good. The engine sounds very good. And I'm gonna open up that door again because 
just by some miracle in case the bids stay low enough on this, I may consider throwing a few bids at it. <coughs> I guess I would go maybe three, four hundred bucks. Anything more than that's not worth it. And I mean, you guys tell me what you think. What would you bid this to? And how far would you go fixing it? And it's my nature to try to make stuff as nice as possible. I try to make whatever I end up buying as nice as possible. And I am not saying that's a good thing because there's been times in the past where I've hurt myself financially getting too crazy about making something so nice that I end up putting so much time and money into it that the juice just wasn't worth the squeeze. And that's, uh, you'll probably hear me say that a lot on this channel because that's one of my favorite sayings, but it's a good way to describe a lot of situations in the car world. And that is one of them that I have learned is that I, at least not, I don't even want to say learn because certain times it probably is worth it, but there's certain times with this car that my mind tells me maybe it would be worth it to just get it, clean it up quick, make sure it runs and drives down the road okay, and put it right up for sale and just offer a cheaper price without having gone through it and fixed as much stuff as I can. Because the other end of that is I buy mirrors, I buy the side mirrors, I buy the tail lights, I go through it and try to maybe pop a couple dings out. I gotta get the handles and put all the handles on there. Uh, the AC doesn't work. I, so I, you know, I can go through that and fix that. It, the, with used cars, guys, you can get over your head really fast. And especially with my personality of trying to make everything fix up these used cars to make them as good as possible. I'm really getting to the point where I know that certain ones are just not worth the, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. They're not worth that extra effort. Uh, and we do have a smoker. It's we keep getting more and more. Uh, the car keeps talking to us more and more, saying, "Don't buy me. Don't buy me. Just let me go to the junkyard." Which is where I think this one probably needs to go. It's got a good, <coughs> a good low mileage engine. So you got an engine to transmission. Speaking of transmission, let's uh, put the gear, see what she does. Right into gear. Goes forward, good. Hold the brake, give it a little gas, see if we can feel anything slipping or anything. Oh, wow. I cannot press. That gas pedal is, I can't press it. It's stuck. It feels stuck and it's, <laughs> the gas pedal's not working either, guys. Gas throttle does nothing. It actually feels kind of stuck, and even if I push it a little harder to get it to move, it still does nothing. So we got reverse, we got forward, and we got a good mindset not to bid on this thing. Do one more restart. Uh, it starts right up. Engine is solid, but that's uh, the mileage, the engine, and transmission are the three things this car has going for it. Let me make sure I'm not going to rock it. It's unlocked. I want to lock the door. I think that's going to be it for this one because uh unfortunately there was not anything out here really worth it today but it's a very good example of why you need to come out here and check this stuff out all right guys i lied as usual on my way out and i found this cool little thing and i don't know if you guys know anything about these and please comment below tell me if you think it's cool or what you think about it but i think these are so cool i would love to have one of these i'm pretty sure they're road legal it's a honda <laughs> it's got it listed as a 91 honda ridgeline but i don't think that's correct it's <laughs> it looks like someone was having some fun with this thing these little trucks i know they get pretty good gas mileage they're such a small little engine in them and <laughs> i mean they're just so cool they're like a step above a golf cart but with a gas engine they're four-wheel drive private detective office look at someone was having a lot of fun with this thing and i'm not going to be looking too close at this one only because it's wrecked in front pretty bad and if i found one of these i'd want it to be at least in pretty good shape without you know i wouldn't want to get any major fixing on something like this but look at this thing it's got a, <laughs> it's got a can on it it's got <laughs> nitrous oxide stickers someone was having some fun competition converters and transmissions i bet i bet someone simpson racing stuff i bet someone used this at the track where they had a drag car or some kind of racing thing going on and they probably use it to get around the track and bring tools and whatever else and i'm just guessing but that would be my guess for something like this oh that's pretty cool too i thought this was dented right here but this actually goes inward so it looks like you can fit a little bit bigger stuff in this bed which surprisingly this bed is actually as big if maybe even a little longer than some of the newer truck beds but 
this is the damage I was talking about here. I mean, this thing, it was hit this way pretty hard and everything is kind of knocked over and the door is crumpled. So it's none of this is shut and corrected. Big ass gap up there. So that, that to me is going to be beyond my pay grade for fixing. But these are also right hand drive. And I got to show you guys the interior of this thing. I mean, oh, it's got power too. It's got power. Someone did a little custom uh, custom door panel stuff there. Wait, let's let's hop in this thing and just see if it'll start. I can't not. I can't not. There's no <laughs> no steering wheel lock. A real time four wheel drive. Let's see how you put this thing in four wheel drive. I thought there was a uh, a stick shift, which is cool. And I have seen these left hand drive too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I might be making that up. What is this? Oh, it must be the light for the back. Look at this thing. I bet there's no, there's probably not even a. Okay, I hear something clicking. You guys can hear that. They got an aftermarket radio deck in here. I, I mean, call me crazy, guys, but I would daily drive the hell out of this thing. I would daily drive this thing and have fun every minute doing it. And I bet there's no safety butt switch for the clutch, so I'm not even going to push that in. Let's just see if it'll start. <laughs> start right up start right up she's idling high yeah a little gas pedal there look at that little thing this thing is so cool so cool oh it's it's real time four-wheel drive so i think that's like an all-wheel drive i think it's all-wheel drive so maybe it's just maybe it's always an all-wheel drive but i don't see any I don't see anything here for four-wheel drive to turn it on and off. Let's see how the see how the clutch feels. Oh yeah, clutch feels good. That all feels good. All right, we're gonna go ahead, shut this thing down. Oh, that was fun while it lasted. Getting out of here is pretty tough too. I mean, look at this here. I can barely get my boot out between the fender and the door. But that was, uh, we had a little fun, guys. Had a little fun with this one. I would love to bid on something like this. I'm going to keep my eye open. Barely see any of these coming through the auction. But with that, that's going to be the end of the trucks and cars for today. Well, that's a wrap for today. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything worth bidding on. But fortunately, we came out here and checked it out and didn't end up with it in the driveway. So take, uh, <laughs> take it from me. You want to get out here and check this stuff out before you bid on it especially if it's something you're you know really considering bidding a little higher than you know just get out here and look at it get out here and look at it but i appreciate you guys watching i'm uh should have this video posted within the next couple days today is monday but so i should have it up by probably middle of this week and i just appreciate you guys watching appreciate the new subscribers appreciate the old ones if you guys like the video please subscribe please share and if you don't like it comment let me know let me know what i can do better because i'm uh I'm trying. I'm trying. And I got about four or five videos on deck that I just need to need to edit and upload. So there should be, in the next few weeks, I should have at least uh, one or two coming up every week. I'm going to try to stick to that. But until the next video, you guys stay safe. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you in the next one.